Hi, I'm Jim Hebel with Bedecker Plastics, and welcome to another video highlighting one of the key material properties for advanced engineered polymers or plastics that every designer, engineer, or user needs to be aware of. Today, I'm here to talk about the continuous use temperature of an engineered thermoplastic. A lot of times, people have confusion over various temperatures that you might find on a plastic material property data sheet. One of those temperatures that sometimes can be confusing is the continuous use temperature or the continuous service temperature. So, what is the actual definition? The continuous service temperature is the maximum ambient service temperature in air that a material can withstand and still maintain 50% of its initial physical properties after long-term service. So what is the definition of long-term service? Well, it's defined as 100,000 hours of service. So well over 11 years. This property is telling you what will happen to the material over 11 years in service. In essence, it's the temperature at which the polymer will degrade, the temperature at which it will start to embrittle, and the temperature that it will start to break down. The continuous use temperature is certainly important for designers, engineers, or users to be aware of. Now, a lot of materials come with fillers. So what kind of role do these fillers play? Common fillers are things like glass, carbon, various minerals, and even lubricants. All different types of these fillers are used to enhance the performance of polymers. So what does this mean for the continuous service temperature? Well, Really, these fillers don't have any effect at all. These fillers don't play a role. The primary determining factor for continuous use temperature is really the chemical structure of the base material itself, the base polymer itself. Now, for somebody that is picking a material for an application, it's certainly very important to understand what continuous use temperature is and how it affects the application. However, you don't just pick a material for an application based on one property alone. There are usually other factors that you will want to consider as well. For example, the continuous service temperature really does not define the ability for that material to handle a load with temperature. One of the materials that we can look at to show this is PTFE. Now, PTFE is a highly engineered advanced polymer that handles 500 degrees Fahrenheit continuous service without breakdown. However, you'll notice that this material is very soft when I apply a load. Even at room temperature, I can bend and deflect it, so it deforms with a load much lower than 500 degrees Fahrenheit. A function of how a material deforms under load with temperature is actually represented by a property we call the heat deflection temperature, or the HDT. The HDT is another important temperature to understand. But I'll cover that in one of my future videos specific to polymers and their physical properties. So stay tuned for the video on heat deflection temperature, but for now, in reference to continuous use temperature, please feel free to add your comments, any questions you may have below, and I'll certainly try to address those for you. Thanks for watching.